Monroe, welcome back. Normally the traffic stationary. Yeah, all along this section though, you'll get these um, overhead variable speed limit signs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was Mrs. Frosty. Connor, Bromwich 2.3, will come looks like all my Christmas came at once. <laughs> I'm assuming there'll be Promo 2.3 beta updates with uh, more maps soon. Uh, this is a release candidate, Connor, so I think this is kind of feature complete now. So they just got to polish it all up and then release it, I think. We've done this trip so many times. Well, that's the best time to go on the M25, Kev, is, is 3 a.m. <laughs> that's when you can actually get around. The only thing bad about driving on the M25 at the early hours of the morning, like, because there's no traffic, the only thing is sometimes they'll completely oh, close yeah. a junction, like they'll close the exits or the entrances because they'll do the roadworks then. And you can get caught out by that, as I have. Jeez. Give peas a chance. Okay, that doesn't exist. I don't think I've seen that bridge either. Prize Fields LB. Give peas a chance. I'm good, thank you, James. It does. I've never seen it, Jake. I've never seen it. <laughs> Is it a Greenpeace thing? Oh my god. These exist. I know I know these crossovers. That's all the M1 connection though. Links to the M1 to go north. Sheffield, the removal experts. Welcome, L. Phillips. Marge will have to update the ban sheet later. I have had enough. Yeah, well, I'm driving down both lanes because I just want to see it, like, have a tour here and... A lot M11 signs. Don't get rid of the wheel cam gun. <laughs> I probably need a better mount for it, though. One's a bit annoying. Yeah, I'm taking up both lanes so we can have a like, little scenic tour and see what's what without being undertaken and overtaken and all kinds. That was your turn off at the A108 onto Barnet. I know Barnet. Right, so we're coming back onto the A12 and then we'll turn in and drive around London and see what's there. Tom Wompack, thank you for 31 oh, months. Yeah, Thanks for yeah. amazing content. Re-engage in look mode. Thank you, Tom. Hands with eight months. Just survived an online assignment from Amsterdam to London in my Scania. GG. The classic with Tuna Bits. Keep up uh, the good work and Sunday night trucking hike. Thank you very much, classic. Right, we're going to get off here at the A12. So normally this would be like a really long, like, extra lane, and then it drops down to a roundabout. Well, it actually drops down to a lane split roundabout. You normally get the left lane to go to Chelmsford, and then the right lane to go to the roundabout. So, you know, it's, it's not bad, actually. It's pretty like that. That's pretty much what it's like. 
But this roundabout itself um, isn't elevated quite like this. Lazy Mew, thank you for gifting us up to the classic, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mrs. Frosty, first went to the M25 with my late husband was coming back from his uni in Portsmouth. Uh, he said to me, look right. I did and saw a plan. Oh, plane going to land. Scared you. <laughs> Why am I playing Euro Truck early? I'm not, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So we shall go down the A12 into London now. It's like I racing that one, <laughs> Let's have a look at the map. Um, let's see. So this is the A406. This is called, this is called the North Circular Road. Um, this was like meant to be, the, the plan for this road was meant to be like the M25, but before the M25 was done, it was like a ring road around London center. Thanks. Um, but there's, it actually only exists in the top half. There's no kind of equivalent down here. But this is called the North Circular A406. Oh, yeah, 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 so we should drive that. Track limits yachts. <laughs> the North Circular is part of Ring 2. What do you mean? There is a South Circular. There is one, but it's not quite as complete as the North. Mr. White, then it's Curiosity Rover's birthday today. It's Curiosity Rover's birthday. I don't know what you mean, Whiteland. Uh, Connor, yes, we've heard about um, Chuckle Brothers. Am I doing the box tonight? What does that mean? Welcome back, Nutter. Oh, the rover on Mars. Gotcha. Ah, right, I'm with you now. The four ringers around London have never been completed. No, they've not. You're right. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it's not. I don't know, Jack. I don't know how you want me to do that. Do you, want me to, do you want me to get her to open a birthday box tonight? Or next week? It's up to you. Will you ever play marbles? Uh, I played marbles as a kid. Does that count? Right, let's go around the 406. Oh, God. Happy anniversary, Nutter. This is weirdly sensitive. I think it's because I've got... There we go. That's better. Right, we'll go around there. And then we'll go down here. Probably have a look around this bit. There we go. That's a good inner loop road. And we'll see what sightseeing we can see. Yep, train sim fan. Happens a lot, man. So it's fine, it's a little early. All right, I'll, um, I'll mention it. Remind me when she comes back in <laughs> with Doyle. I'll mention it then. I've not seen it, Chris. Have you, uh, the Mission Impossible movie, have you seen that uh, video with what's-his-face? My mind's gone blank tonight. One sec. James Corbin, is it? 
That's quite funny. Where he takes Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise takes him on the plane and, and basically they jump out the plane. James Corden. It's quite funny. Because you can see James Corden is actually terrified. <laughs> he jumps out the back of the plane with him at 15,000. You're like, yeah, right. It's on YouTube. Well, I, that's the thing. Like, I'm pretty certain if I was to do a skydive like that, I'd be absolutely terrified at the point where the door opens. But when you get back to ground, you're probably like, that was just amazing. <laughs> In other words, when you realize that you've not died, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, Tom Cruise did it like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times just to get that shot in Mission Impossible where he jumps out the plane and it's all done in one take but they did like hundreds of jumps for that okay so the north circular looks nothing like this <laughs> it's, it's not covered in trees at all it's it's very uh, urban but we'll see Okay, so this, this is accurate where it splits on the M11. That's good. Now, when I used to motorbike into London, I'd come off the M11 there and pick up this North Circular Road. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. FPS, blah, blah, blah. There's the speed cameras down North Circular as well. You should see Walthamstow, signs for Walthamstow um, dog track. Uh, I don't remember that footbridge. But then I didn't go this far down usually. It's a cool footbridge. the skyline look at that London skyline looks cool good night Sebastian Or a big bend, I don't know. We'll have to go and see how far we can get into the middle bit. Is this meant to be um, the Hangar Lane gyratory? This one is this Hangar Lane? Yeah, that's Hangar Lane. Definitely. Cool, so they put that in. This bit looks a bit posh. <laughs> I don't know if there's a Wembley Stadium or not, actually. I can't see anything on the skyline. If if it was in, you'd be able to see like the arch. 
This is really well done, though. And it's like, the, the important thing is it's got really good frame rates as well. But the FPS is still really good. Oh boy, which lane am I meant to be in here? Look at that drop off. Straight down. Is this sign for a Big Mac? Look at those boys down there. Um, obviously just chatting. Is that meant to be Marble Arch? Victoria, Knightsbridge, no. Yeah, Knightsbridge, Victoria. <laughs> This is cool. Oh, you can't go in the city. They can go in the city. Like all the um, all the skyscrapers being built. Use the fly cam, what's there? It actually feels like you're in London though, this is pretty good. It's a really small camera the size of a fly. Does it come with a remote control? Awesome. Imagine having a remote control for like a camera the size of a fly. Why can't you go that way? This is pretty good, I like this. It's very, very urban. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look like Oxford Street to me. Quietest London's ever been. Yeah, it'd take you about an hour to get down the, what we just drove. <laughs> Caravan in London? Are you actually having a giraffe? Not a chance. <laughs> Nobody would bring a caravan into London. <laughs> Ring road, A2, A3. Getting a little bit frame heavy here some more. James Maywood. Yeah, yeah, you do it for a TV program. That'd be about it though. Well, John, if you ever do bring a caravan into London, make sure you record it with GoPro cameras. Hendo boss, thank you for eight months. Oh, look at this. Crossing over the Thames. All oh, the London eyes over there, look at that, that's awesome. It's a pretty good skyline. Big Ben!
Big Ben's in there. Get to the chopper. Such a wide road. It's just a shame you can't actually drive into it. Awesome. Trouble is we can't get any closer to it. Yeah, frames are going here a little bit. Old Logan, how you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bigfoot, look kids, Big Ben. House of the Parliament. <laughs> Brixton, Clapham Junction. This is some super cool modeling though. They've done a ton of work. Wow, did you see the AI then? The guy in the left lane went right and the guy in the right lane went left. They, they literally, one went like that and then the other went like that. <laughs> Which happens IRL in London because people get completely lost even with sat-navs. Although it's not as bad in the days of satnavs. Back in the day when people had maps, they, oh, it was terrible. They'd be in the wrong lane all the time. No problem, Jake Rano. SCS workshop uploader poster. What? <laughs> what? Oh, well, I might as go anyway. Why don't they put white lines down? We always have white lines in the UK. Traffic lights. Lousy. Welcome back. Mr. Mehu with three years. The time has come three years of being a sub. On for many more. And yes, I'm still alive. Mehu, thank you, bro. Thank you for three years. Happy anniversary. Nothing new to Iceland, Tommy, I don't think. Why don't you drive in cab mode, Dark Knight? I always drive in cab mode. Except when I'm previewing a map, at which point we want to see the uh, the world, not the inside of my cab. I forgot the trailer lava tube. Whoa, that's a bit Tudor. Look at that. I didn't see anything, did you?
heard a noise, but that was about it. You bright testing me now, look. McDonald's in the distance. Find a pub. Do you know what? I've not seen a single pub, which is a bit weird. There's a pizza out there. Well, there's a sign for one anyway. Flower pots outside the houses. Squeeze me? Nobody does that. Nobody does that. They'd get wrecked on the first Saturday night drunken, like, walk home by everybody. Never gonna happen. Red telephone box? Are you serious? <laughs> They're as rare as rocking horse droppings, they are. going around this bit. What are you hauling? Helium. Yeah, I think it looks great, Presley. So much driving around here, it's crazy. For one city, there's loads to drive around here for one city. I mean, mostly, most of the cities are kind of quite compact, aren't they, in Eurotrip? But this has got quite a lot of driving around. <clears throat> uh, so trucking fix a lot. Welcome back. Hey. Black wall tunnel, north side. Cool. Back to the Docklands, look at this. Those buildings over there were like the financial, uh, the financial companies are like HSBC and stuff. The O2, they put that in. Four meters and two point eight meters. You don't want to get in the left lane. At the right lane, that would be a problem. There's actually, um, I can actually buy a place back there. Oh, this is cool, man. Look at this.
That West Tower? Crikey. I was wondering if the um, walkie-talkie building was there. That's the Nat West Tower. Next to it is the Gherkin. I look at the pickup points here. You can drop off in the middle of this. This is just brilliant. I don't think we're going to get down to Cyprus, Joe William. If I'm honest. We've still got Spain to do yet. Yeah, I saw the shard. I don't know how close we can get to it, but I did see it. Job to Spain now. Uh, we'll, we'll teleport down there. There's no point wasting an hour of driving just going through France. Look at this. This is cool. So, this. This is like. King's Cross, I think. Which means further down would be Euston Station. If you remember, that's where the big fire was, King's Cross Station. Yeah, Madame Two Swords would be along here. Um, you would get, I'm trying to think of the order, King's Cross. Then I think you get Euston, then you get Madame Two Swords and this space observatory thing. I don't think Euston's in it by the look. BT Tower will be on your left. Be down there. And you would basically turn and go south now if you wanted to go into Regent Street and Oxford Circus. Houston Road, there you go. Might go around this bit. It's so nice to see, like, London. Somebody's had a proper go at doing London. Oh, look out. Look at the braking on that. Look at the braking. So there's something down here on the left I'm going to go and have a look at on the map. It's an actual pickup point. Look at that. Awesome. Right in the heart of the city. <laughs> Somebody's got a smart car. They're actually pretty popular in uh, in London. Smart cars and hybrids. Smart cars because you can find a parking space and hybrids because they don't get congestion charged. I still don't think, I think that's still applicable. Ninja, thank you for 26 months. Way. Let's drop down for the lols. A 
Rackers, welcome back. Oh, it's a bit frame heavy here, though. Welcome back, Mata. Welcome back, chilly dude. How you doing? We love that. That's cool. But the frames absolutely crashed through, though. No, it really does. It, like, it really feels like London. It's like when we were up in Wales, it just felt like Wales. It really did. And this just feels like London. Like, you can do all the modelling you want, but really it comes down to, does it capture the essence of the city? And it really does. It just feels like London. Oops. <laughs> just like London. <laughs> Yeah, now this bit, this is the flyover that goes out west. This is where um, uh, St Pancras is. Not St Pancras. Um, what's the station here? Uh, Paddington. Paddington Station is here. And over on this bit, when you get to the end here, yeah, just past this, you take the white, there's White City down here. White City and BBC TV Centre is all down here and Westfield Shopping Centre. Oh, speed camera hype. Heathrow Terminals 1, 2 and 3. You want, mate? Block the road off, you scumbag. How dare you block the road off to Heathrow? No. You guys need to do Heathrow. <laughs> Chili, Paul, 20, uh, 27 months, went on a cross country yesterday. I hope your flight training is going well. Well, actually, you, you went like IRL flying on a cross country, Chili. Did you enjoy it? Nice! It's good fun, isn't it? Three hours of flying. Awesome. Awesome. Right, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, my flying's going pretty well. I should be doing a cross-country this week to Norwich International. That's going to be pretty scary. So we've basically been around a good chunk of this now. So what we could do, and that is a specific place you want me to go to, we could um, either go and have a look at Rotterdam, or we could even take a job from here to Rotterdam, or we could go down to Spain. So Rotterdam, Spain, Bit of driving, maybe. Take a job, you need the money. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Let's just see out of interest. There's a job that does go there. Russell, pretty close. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Ay, 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 ay. That would take us. That would take us through. 
could route through Rotterdam and take that journey, then go down to Spain. Could do that. Jagus, Rotterdam. <laughs> the Bolens, 22 months, two months to go. Benna, 48 months, just got home. It's my 48 month. Thank you, Twitch. Uh, you messed it up again. Thanks uh, for being here, Paul. Um, thank you for four years of support, Benna. Welcome back. Last job from Croydon was Amsterdam. One second. Uh, boom, that'll do. All right, let's do that. We'll do that, then we'll go down to Spain. How far is the drive? Oh, it's going to pull. Whee! Ikea? Oh yeah, there's a massive Ikea in Croydon. It's way bigger than that. Wrong button. Squirrel's cheating again. Hey, I'm doing it for your benefit. Right. Quick journey over to... Uh, I need to get some fuel, actually. Rotterdam. We'll reroute it through there, and then we'll teleport down to Spain. Go and have a look at all that. I'm impressed with what I've seen so far. Wales looks amazing. London looks fantastic. Is your cross country flying a bit like VFR and VATS then? <laughs> no. Nope. Scotland. Well, they already did Scotland. <clears throat> Happy anniversary. You thirsty? Can Mrs. Squirrel make a coffee and some lemon cake? <laughs> the lemon cake is mine. I already had some lemon cake this afternoon. Oh, it's so nice. I need to try and remember to take some for Baz at Insomnia. Happy wow, I like that trailer. Arcade transport. That's quite cool. Thank you for seven months, Hibs. Seven months already worth every penny. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, probably want to go that way, don't we? So go around the west side of Antwerpen. That looks like a new city on its own, though. Let's go and pick that up on the way. And I'm curious to see what Rotter Rotterdam looks like. Well, Booney kind of bypassing it, but obviously Uraport's here. That looks quite a big rework, that is. Quite a big rework. Take Ring 2. I'm not trying to do it faster. I'm trying to see the new roads. Any chocolate biscuits left? I wish. I wish. Chocolate biscuits last like five minutes in my house because my youngest daughter just eats them all. This is some, like, really awkward fueling. Ooh, 
we'll see Captain Flint because I want to get to Spain as well. Quite keen to get over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave. Rafarik, I live near Mordigik and I always take the A58 A16 route to my work at the end of the A58 when you turn onto the A4 to Antwerp on the left there should be an airbase where my old job was well you'll have to spot it because I won't <laughs> I won't be able to know The graffiti. Wait, what? The world's weirdest ring road. Well, as if as if I can pronounce those those city names, Mandelsoft. D-I-J-K, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It doesn't exist in English. I have to realise that I-J is a vowel in Dutch. Well, you have to realise that I don't speak Dutch, so I have no clue how to pronounce I-J. <laughs> like, I've never been taught how to pronounce I-J or I-J-K or D-I-J-K. I have literally no idea how to pronounce it. D-I-J-K is like dyke. Right, so that would be... Wait, what? How did he go slamming through when I was on green? What the heck was that about? So, mo mower dyke? Is that better? more like without the H. I'm not saying a H. <laughs> it's more like the hay without the H. Like A. Like Murdike. Like that. Right, you see? <laughs> Well, there you go. I learned a Dutch na a Dutch name. <laughs> Are you getting on us, Reeves? You must be really hot up in Scotland in the uh, in the kitchens. What do I get with wallpapers from my phone? Uh, I just use an app called like Wallpapers HD or something. Just download stuff from there. Now teach us Dutchies some Welsh names. Well, you need to spell the word Welsh correctly first, because it's not W-E-L-S-C-H, it's W-E-L-S-H. That's how you spell Welsh. So we can start with that. <laughs>
I should listen to chat more often. Here's the funny thing, Smithy. Whenever you listen to chat and things go wrong, people go, no, you don't listen to chat, that's crazy. Oh boy. Ifan is a Welsh name. There you go. I'm not from Wales. You need to get Dr. Dre in here. He's the Welsh guy. Chat's never wrong. No, 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 Heyman. El Squirello is never wrong. Nah, train sim fan. I, I have no interest in learning Slav languages. I'm, I don't need to. Trust me, you don't want to learn Slavic languages. <laughs> I'm pretty good with English, but English is the only thing I, I know how to speak or write. No, I don't, Icelandic, no. I don't want to learn any language that I will have no use for. And even the languages I'd like to learn, I find very difficult to learn. <laughs> 